here is the Sony FDR AX43 and uh, that uh, initially or originally came out back in 2020 making it one of the latest models of Handycam form factor consumer level camcorders uh, released by Sony or really by uh, any other brand out there um, and it's also one of my favorite camcorders to use for my videos so in this video I'm gonna share or I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a closer look at the camera itself um, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of using this camera I'm also gonna share how I use this camera for my videos and at the end I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why I think this is the last great consumer level camcorder uh, in the market and uh, I'll also share some uh, quick footage that I've taken using this uh, Sony FDR AX43 so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the camera first uh, again this is the Handycam form factor camcorder um, which brings you back to those old days of the uh, 80s and 90s kind of like the classic Handycam from Sony form uh, one of the main highlights of this camera, of course, in case if you're interested in this camera, is the amazing image stabilization with this camera. I don't know if you can see it there, but it kind of has like a built-in gimbal in the lens. So whatever you move the camera, the lens actually stays pretty still. And uh, it is what Sony calls the BOSS, so Balanced Optical Steady Shot uh, Image Stabilization. So it has a 5-axis stabilization amazing i had never seen stabil stabilization like this in any other camcorders or even cameras out there here's the clip out screen so it's a fully articulating screen that you can also use for vlogging three inch uh, screen lcd it's also touch screen so you can actually select it there to select the different settings in the camcorder and again this is not going to be a full review of the camera itself because there's plenty of videos out there in YouTube with all the details about the specs and everything about this camera I'm just gonna give you the highlights in this one it does have one um, SD card slot uh, and since I got mine uh, for a really good price on, on eBay the the door uh, sometimes it malfunctions sometimes it will be hard to open or to close it so I usually just leave it open like that it does have, uh, I think it's a micro HDMI output, so you can collect, connect it to, you, uh, to your TV. Uh, the speakers in this camera are decent. Uh, they are here in the front. Uh, but I usually prefer to, to shoot or to record the audio with an external microphone, which you can connect here on the side. And it also has a multi-port to connect it to remotes or other accessories. Another nice audio feature that this camera has is the jack for headphones. So you can actually uh, monitor your audio levels live when you're actually recording. And this works really good. It's a nice feature to have in the camera. Again, a consumer level camcorder, but it has a lot of very professional features that you can actually select with this camera. And there's a ton more features that you can select as far as manual shooting or partial manual shooting using the selections that you can uh, configure inside the camcorder itself. And one more thing about the camera is that it does have, if you open this uh, latch right here, uh, you'll find the hot shoe accessory. So you can use it with uh, Sony proprietary microphones or other accessories. And you can also use it as a standard cold shoe adapter. So let's move on to the pros and cons of actually using this camcorder over cell phones or other types of uh, mirrorless cameras or DSLRs or point and shoot cameras. Uh, the main selling point for this camera, for me at least, is the uh, absolutely incredible image stabilization. This uh, gimbal-like feature in the, in the lens, it's, it, it works so good, especially for the great zoom that this camera has. Uh, if you are a hiker and you like to take clips or video of wildlife, especially if um, uh, the, your subject is going to be very far away, you can use you can zoom out all the way with this uh, 20 times zoom camera, and uh, the the image is actually going to be pretty stable while you, while you record. So I'll show a few examples here in the video and at the end of the video as well of some footage that I've taken with the full zoom 
and uh, that actually has let me has allowed me to shoot wildlife that in the past I have not been able to to take using a standard uh, DSLR or mirrorless camera. So a really great feature, and uh, Sony did an amazing job uh, with the image stabilization in, in this camera. And by the way, you can also get the FDR AX53, which is the older brother of this camera. Uh, the only difference between those two cameras are that the FDR uh, AX53 has a, a, a viewfinder um, in, in the back of the camera. That's the only difference, I believe. Everything else is the same. Uh, another great feature of the camera is the zoom. And let's see if I can show you here. But the zoom is a 20 times zoom, optical zoom, of course, and it goes way out there. <laughs> it is incredible the kind of zoom that you can get with this uh, camcorder. Really, really great. And like I said before, combined with the image stabilization, you can get some great footage of wildlife. Uh, also sports, in, in case you're, in, you're into that. And uh, the wide angle is actually pretty good in this one. I believe it's a 25 uh, millimeter wide angle uh, in this camcorder. So you can actually use it for vlogging as well, pretty good. It's a decent vlogging camcorder too. Uh, another pro of this camera is of course the image quality. The image quality is going to be better in this camera compared to other uh, lower end consumer level camcorders. Of course, of course, if you go up to the two thousand dollar level camcorder, you're gonna end up with a much better sensor. Uh, but for a consumer level camcorder, the image quality is actually pretty good. All right, the negatives about shooting with this camcorder. Uh, first of all, like I mentioned before, this one doesn't have a viewfinder, and especially if you're outdoors, if you're in the park somewhere that is very sunny, like today like here in this park, um, the LCD screen can get very glary. So sometimes it's very hard to spot the wildlife while you're, while you're out there in the, in the trail uh, because it's hard to see through the LCD screen. So uh, it will have been nice to have a viewfinder in the back of the camera. And like I said before, you can also go with the FDR AX53 that actually came out before the 43 cam, uh, the AX43 camcorder. And it goes for a little bit higher price, but it is still out there in the market. Uh, another negative about this camera is that the autofocus is not great. Uh, it works, but sometimes it can get a little bit confused. Uh, I'll show some examples here in the video and then at the end of the video as well. But sometimes when you're zoomed all the way out and you're trying to capture some kind of wildlife in the back uh, and really far away from you and there is something in the way like a piece of grass or like a branch or something, uh, it will tend to focus on the branch or whatever is in front of your actual subject. So it, it, the focus is not really great. It can get a little bit confused. And there's ways to get around with it. You can actually manually adjust the focus uh, using the, the LCD screen, but it is not very easy to do. So that, that's one of the big negative things about shooting with this, with this camcorder. So how do I actually use this camera? Well, first of all, this is the camera that I use for most of my product reviews videos in my channel. Um, and the image quality is pretty good, so it's actually better than shooting with, um, uh, with a cell phone or with uh, a lot of consumer level cameras out there. So the image is pretty good, again the stabilization is really good as well. So it's great for like studio types of shoots or when you're shooting some kind of a product review. Um, and uh, another big thing for me is that I started hiking a lot during the pandemic. So this camera was actually great to put in my, in my backpack when I was taking it out for a hike in the trail and just quickly taking it out to when, whenever I spotted some kind of uh, wildlife. Um, it allows you to stay far away from the, from, the, from the subject so you don't disturb the birds or, the, uh, or anything that you may see out there in the trail. And it allows you to get pretty close to it, to the actual subject right, with the amazing zoom and the really good image stabilization. This is really the perfect camera in case if you're into uh, wildlife videography and if you travel a lot or if you go out there uh, in the trails a lot. Really, really great camcorder for that kind of um, application. 
Now let's move on to why I believe this is going to be or this will this is the last great consumer level camcorder uh, to ever hit the market. Uh, well, first of all, just go into Amazon, go into any electronic store website and type in uh, either Sony camcorders or just camcorders in general. Uh, anything that will show up as far as new or refurbished cameras are going to be um, either this one right here or the older brother of this one, the AX53, uh, which I believe are the, the best camcorders uh, right now that you can get. And uh, what else are you going to find? You're going to find some knockoff brands, some no brand uh, uh, cameras uh, from Amazon. You're going to find the Sony uh, HD HDR CX405, which is a camera that came out back in 2015 which is a very entry-level camcorder. The image quality in that camera is not going to be nearly as good as the AX43 or 53. Um, uh, really, Sony and uh, even the other brands like Canon and Nikon, they are really focusing right now on mirrorless cameras. Um, even um, bridge cameras are being left out. Um, camcorders are being left out as well, too. And this is all in my opinion as well. This is all speculation. Uh, I don't know this for sure, but what I believe is that Sony, Canon, they're all going to be releasing new mirrorless cameras, new uh, point and shoot cameras, uh, maybe for vlogging and for professional photographers and videographers. But I don't believe they're going to make any more of this uh, handicam form factors, form factor camcorders anymore. Um, really, the, mar the market is on vlogging right now and then professional stuff. Uh, consumer level camcorders, I don't think they're going to make them anymore. Um, especially if you see the, the news right now on the Sony releases. You know, what have they been releasing in the last couple of, uh, of months? Uh, the ZV-1 is a perfect example. It's um, uh, kind of like a vlogging type of mirrorless camera. It's also very affordable. And they have been releasing, of course, their new versions of uh, mirrorless cameras. Both uh, Nikon and, Ca and Canon have been doing the same thing. But there have been no news on any new camcorder and no, no rumors either on the new camcorders or, or even bridge cameras, which I also like a lot. Uh, so my recommendation is if in case you're looking for a camcorder like this for either hiking and wildlife videography, something that's small, light and affordable, uh, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, pick one up from, you can get, uh, I think the AX53 is available on Amazon new. And there's a couple of uh, refurbished postings as well that I'll put in the, in the description. So I bought my AX43 off eBay secondhand and I got it for a really good price uh, because it did have a few, uh, some damage on the side, but the camera actually does work pretty well. Uh, everything in, in, the, um, in the image quality, the zoom, everything works really, really great. So I'm glad that I was able to buy one. But even if this one breaks, I'm probably gonna get me a new one of this, of the AX43, because I love the Handycam form factor. And it is not just because of the uh, nostalgia from those older uh, 80s era uh, Sony Handycams. Uh, it just, uh, I like shooting in, in that factor. I love the zoom, I love the image stabiliza stabilization that you cannot get it with most cameras out there. And the image quality is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna probably find me another one once this one eventually breaks. Um, and if I don't find one of these ones, I'm gonna try to get me the AX53 before they all ran out, uh, out of uh, eBay or from the market in general. So yeah, uh, in case you're interested, definitely pick up one of this, the camcorders, I highly recommend them. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.